During the filming of the popular UK TV show Motorway Cops, police officers came across 91-year-old Bill Mountfield, who was in the midst of changing a tire on his vehicle after colliding with a truck. Learning of his situation, the officers immediately shifted their attention to assist him. On-duty officers Doug Lofthouse and Dale Anderson responded to an accident call on the M62 highway in northern England. Upon arrival, they found Bill Mountfield, the driver involved in the collision with the truck, and his car severely damaged. Mountfield was determined to change his car's tire, insisting he had a spare with him. However, when the officers inspected the vehicle, they realized the damage was more extensive than Mountfield had realized, with the car's side visibly buckled and unfit for driving. Undeterred, Mountfield attempted to persuade the officers that he only needed to get his car moving to have it repaired once he reached Holland. He explained he was on his way to the ferry docks to travel to mainland Europe. Despite his persistence, the officers remained resolute in their commitment to safety. PC Anderson noted that Mountfield may have come from a generation that believed in making things work physically, but their responsibility was to ensure safety for everyone on the road. Mountfield, visibly agitated and determined to continue his journey, declined a lift home and wanted to press on to the port of Hull. Recognizing the need to keep him away from the fast-moving traffic, the officers placed Mountfield in the back of their police vehicle while they discussed his options. PC Lofthouse contacted Mountfield's insurance company, hoping to arrange a courtesy car for his onward journey, but the company could not assist further. It would recover Mountfield's car but couldn't provide transportation to Holland. In the meantime, PC Anderson conversed with Mountfield in the police car, trying to determine if he had any family who could pick him up. Mountfield revealed that he had no living family and even his son had passed away six months earlier. Impressed by Mountfield's determination and touched by his story, the officers inquired about his journey's purpose. They learned that the nonagenarian was a veteran of the Battle of Arnhem in World War II and was en route to a reunion with surviving members of his regiment. Understanding that giving up and going home was not an option for Mountfield, the officers decided to help him reach the ferry port. They suggested the idea of renting a car, to which Mountfield readily agreed. As the officers became more involved in Mountfield's story, their desire to assist him grew. PC Lofthouse expressed admiration for Mountfield's determination, courage, and grit. He recognized that Mountfield's determination to reach Hull and board that ferry was unwavering. However, a challenging obstacle arose. There weren't many rental companies willing to provide a car to a 91-year-old traveling overseas for five weeks. With Mountfield's ferry departure approaching rapidly, time was of the essence to find a solution. Despite their initial concerns about finding a rental company willing to provide a car for Mountfield, the officers remained determined to proceed with their plan. Mountfield's vehicle was laden with supplies for his trip, so the officers undertook the task of transferring his belongings to their patrol car. In fact, there was so much to move that they had to request an additional vehicle. With time running out and still no success in securing a rental car, the officers made a crucial decision. They decided to take Mountfield with them and personally visit a rental car company to explain their unique situation. They believed that an in-person explanation might make a difference. Their perseverance ultimately paid off as the rental company agreed to provide Mountfield with the vehicle. The only remaining task was to transfer his extensive supplies from the patrol car to the rental car. Thanks to the relentless efforts of the two officers, Mountfield successfully caught his ferry in time. P.C. Anderson expressed his satisfaction, stating, If we can't do things for people who've given so much of themselves, when the opportunity arises to help people, it may have been a small gesture, but it made a significant difference to him. Wolf officers gained profound respect for Mountfield, recognizing his unwavering commitment to reuniting with his old comrades, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Given his service to the country, they were pleased to have helped him achieve his goal. Tragically, the story concludes on a bittersweet note. Mountfield made it to Holland and attended the regimental reunion, but he passed away during his stay. Nevertheless, he passed away in the company of the only family he had left, his fellow soldiers. Unsurprisingly, Mountfield was deeply cherished by his former comrades. A blog post from one of his old colleagues paid tribute to him, saying, Uncle Bill passed away in Arnhem last week. At the age of 91, he departed in the city that remains central to the rest of his life where he fought bravely and lost many comrades. Bill, I salute you. Interestingly, the post also mentioned another one of Mountfield's habits when visiting Arnhem, which was bringing ample supplies of British food, particularly potato chips. 
These very supplies were the ones the officers had moved into his rental car back in England before he embarked on his final journey from his homeland.